Welcome back. Zoom video communication shares are sliding in late trading after the company reported quarterly results just minutes ago. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery has the breakdown. Jared. That's right. Not bad on the top and bottom lines, but uh, subscribers, uh, especially the uh, the higher paying ones, uh, a little bit of a disappointment. You can see the stock off about 8%. Let me give you the fourth quarter results first. First, revenue, very small beat, came in at $1.07 billion. The estimate was for $1.05 billion, uh, just a little bit lower. Adjusted EPS coming in at $1.29 versus $1.22 a year ago, and that handily beats by about $0.22, cents, the estimate of $1.07. Free cash flow, a little bit light here, $188.7. Six million. That's down 50% year over year. The estimate was for higher 261. $0.4 million. And then ending the quarter with cash and cash equivalents of $1.06 billion. It's down 53% year over year. The estimate was for $1.55 billion. And now here are those customers. Those customers, the large ones, contributing more than $100,000 in trailing 12-month revenue. That came in a little bit light. The uh, number was 2725 Estimate was for 2735 Now, this number is a little bit more disappointing. Customers with more than 10 employees, 509000 that's up 9% year over year. Estimate was for quite a bit higher, 527,304. And here's where the forecast gets a little bit ugly. They're seeing revenue for the first quarter of $1.07 billion to $1.08 billion. The estimate was for $1.1 billion, so just a little bit higher, seeing adjusted EPS of 86 to 88 cents, but the estimate was for $1.03. And now here's the full year forecast. They're seeing revenue of $4.53 billion to $4.55 billion. Estimate was for a bit higher, $4.75 billion. Finally, seeing adjusted EPS of $3.45 to $3.51. The estimate was for quite a bit higher. In fact, almost $1, $4.40. Also have a note on their board. They're announcing that Bill McDermott, uh, they're electing him as an independent director of Zoom's board, effective March 1st. And he is going to replace, replace Bart Swanson. He was an early investor in Zoom. He is stepping down from the Zoom board following more than eight years of service. This is from one of the releases. And uh, if you know the name Bill McDermott, of course, uh, he was once the leader of service now, also served as CEO of SAP. So really a leader in the industry. But I think investors really focusing on these key numbers here. And the stock is down 9% in after hours trading. If we take a quick look on the Wi-Fi Interactive, you can see on the trailing three months, it's down 37%. And then over the trailing year, down 64%. So no relief in sight just yet for Zoom investors. Indeed, a tough day. Thank you so much. Jared Blickery reporting there.